Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team Top 10 video for you guys. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the new players that were released into the game this weekend as part of the NFL Draft promo. We have some really, really nice cards that were added to the game, including one of the cards that might be among the best players overall in the entire game. So with that said, guys, what we're going to do is count down the top 10 players of the NFL Draft for Madden Ultimate Team. Up first, we're going to start at the cornerback position where we have Marshawn Lattimore. Now, this card has a lockdown defender chemistry as well as a pick specialist chemistry. It's 95 speed and 97 acceleration. One of the fastest cornerbacks in the game. In fact, its acceleration is second only behind Ultimate Master Deion Sanders at cornerback. He's also six foot one with 94 jumping, with 95 zone coverage, which is excellent. 92 man coverage isn't amazing, but it's certainly serviceable. 94 press, if you care about that. I still don't know if that really matters in the game, to be honest with you. But 91 awareness, 91 play recognition, 85 catching as well, which is pretty good for a cornerback. 55 only for a spectacular catch, though, along with 54 catch in traffic. So some of those attributes are not quite there. He's also not good in run support, which is why he's not higher up on this list. He only has a 66 for tackling as well as a 73 for hit power and an 83 per, for pursuit. So he is quite similar to Deion Sanders in a lot of ways, given the fact that he is really an exclusive, essentially, uh, lockdown defender type of cornerback. He's not a guy who's going to go up and make plays against the run particularly well. So that's why he is down here at number 10. Up next, we have a halfback, Christian McCaffrey, son of Ed McCaffrey. Now, this running back has an interesting chemistry. He does have the energized ability chemistry, which temporarily will refill your stamina when you do a successful ball carrier move. Not the best for running backs, but certainly a usable attribute for sure. I would That would certainly be something that you can use from time to time. He also has a route runner chemistry, which is kind of interesting. He is quite good as a receiver, which is something that not a lot of these other guys have. So he's certainly somebody that you can use if you're a pass-happy offense. 94 speed is among the fastest of all running backs. 97 acceleration is is the fastest of any running back in the game currently, along with 97 agility, which is, again, the best of any halfback currently in the game. 94 elusiveness, very, very good as well. 94 carrying, 93 juke, 82 for a spin. So this is where we start to see things kind of load, lower down a little bit. 75 for a stiff arm and then 68 for trucking so you guys can see he is very much the type of running back that you're going to use you know to to make jukes and things like that he's not a guy who's going to be able to be as good at grinding it up the middle and things like that so uh you know again keep that in mind when you're using this player he does have 84 catching and mid 80s in other catching attributes as well like spectacular catch and catching traffic things like that so again he is quite good out of the backfield as a receiver and especially after the catch the only issue is again running up the middle on third and one things like that he may not be the best guy to have on the field but other than that Christian McCaffrey is a very very nice halfback card at number eight we get our first quarterback on the list and that is Deshaun Watson he has the identified ability chemistry which allows you to see your opponent's user prior to the play now this is something that is quite valuable if you're somebody who you know struggles to identify where your opponent is on the field so that's something that you can certainly utilize he also has a chain mover chemistry which is you know not great but it's certainly us usable now his attributes aren't anything amazing he does doesn't have the best at anything, but he is quite solid at just about everything. 93 throw power, 96 throw accuracy short, 93 mid, 89 deep isn't good. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's certainly not good at this point in the game. 90 for a play action. Now, where this 
card is going to be pretty good is that he has 88 speed along with 92 acceleration, which isn't the best at the quarterback position, but it's definitely up there. And it's certainly something where you can take off and run with this card. So that is something that you can certainly uh, take advantage of if you're somebody that, you know, goes up against people that drop 10 into coverage and things like that. Make sure that you're considering running with Deshaun Watson because that is a valuable asset that he has. He also has 92 agility, 84 elusiveness, 83 for a juke move. He does only have 66 for a carrying, so you don't want to take those big hits, but still a solid quarterback card overall. At number seven, we have our first safety on the list, and that is Malik Hooker. Now, Malik Hooker has a deep defender chemistry and as well as a pick specialist chemistry. 94 speed, which is tied for the fastest free safety in the game, along with 96 acceleration, which is the fastest of any free safety in the game. 96 agility as well, once again, tied for the best free safety in the game. So needless to say, this is a card that you certainly, if you're somebody who uses your free safety, definitely a card that you want to take a look at. Very, very nice attributes. Six foot two as well, which is among the tallest of all safeties in the game and especially free safeties. 94 jumping as well. Again, among the best at the position. 76 catching is where we start to be a little bit worried. This is low for a top end free safety. So that's kind of the one thing where he is not particularly great in coverage and as a user defender, but he does have 94 zone coverage. So he's somebody that can swat the ball away if you guys don't know, uh, that's what zone coverage essentially does. It's not how well you play the zone. I know that doesn't make much sense, but uh, it's actually how well you can swat away the ball when there's you know some sort of a contested catch and things like that. 79 for man coverage, you know, okay for a free safety. 93 awareness, 93 play rec. If you're somebody who doesn't use your, your free safety, those are good attributes. 82 pursuit. Eh, average, uh, tackling only at an 83, 87 for a hit power, not particularly great. The one thing where he is just like weirdly low is 57 for block shedding. That is a really bad attribute, to be honest with you, and something that you want to be a little bit weary of. Just keep that in mind as you're taking a look at this card. But other than that, very good overall. Up next, we have another safety, strong safety, Jabril Peppers. Now, he actually has the Return Man Ability Chemistry, which basically allows you to have unlimited stamina until you make a juke or until you get contacted. So that's an interesting thing on defense for doing a return on punt returns and kick returns. He also has the Field General Chemistry. 95 speed, which is second fastest among all strong safeties, as well as 96 acceleration. Once again, second fastest among all strong safeties. 97 agility is the best of any strong safety in the game. He is a little bit smaller at 5'11". It's not terribly small, but it's not big either. 95 jumping is second best among strong safeties, though. So he is able to make up a little bit for that shorter height that he has. 81 catching isn't particularly amazing, so that's something to keep in mind. 91 zone coverage is decent enough. 83 man coverage is all right for a strong safety if you if you ever use him in that role. Uh, 93 player recognition along with 93 awareness, both decent attributes if you don't use them. 94 pursuit, decent as well. Now, where he's not particularly great is against the run, just like Malik Hooker. 84 tackling is not particularly great. 80 hit power for a strong safety is actually awful. And 59 block shedding, just again, like Malik Hooker, awful once again. So that's kind of weird. Both of these guys are very good in coverage and very good user defenders. But against the run, they are a little bit of a detriment, to be honest with you. So keep that in mind as you're taking a look at these cards. <laughs> Now we're going to move into the top five of the draft players, and we're starting it off here at number five with Hassan Redick, middle linebacker. This card is a user beast, son. Coverage linebacker chemistry along with field general chemistry, 91 speed, which is tied for the fastest middle linebacker in the game. 91 acceleration, also quite good. 93 agility, if you guys don't know, that is a really good attribute if, for if your user defending with him. That is a very important thing because it allows you to... Make Make those cuts very quickly and move from one guy to another over the middle. Six foot one, decent size for him as a middle linebacker. 86 jumping is good. 68 for catching, not amazing, but again, it's a middle linebacker, so we don't really expect amazing catching attributes. Now, what's interesting about this card is that it has a 94 finesse move. So if you send him on a blitz, he's going to be amazing. 
That is something that other linebackers do not have. This card is the by far the best middle linebacker for pass rushing in the entire game right now, which is kind of interesting. Not really something that I knew about Hassan Reddick, but it's certainly something that is usable from time to time. 79 for a power move, which, you know, not amazing, but still pretty good for a middle linebacker. 94 awareness and 94 play recognition, along with 96 pursuit. If you do not use or control him, those are all great attributes. 89 block shedding isn't particularly great, but if you use him, that shouldn't be a big issue, along with 88 tackling. 83 hit power is actually quite low for a middle linebacker, but again, out of all the other things, that's, I mean, this card is really, really good overall, so there's going to be some things where he's a little bit lower, but definitely that 91 speed, 91 acceleration, 93 agility, those are all great attributes for user defending, and that's why he makes it into the top five. At number four, we have the guy who was drafted first among all wide receivers this year, and that is Corey Davis of the Tennessee Titans. Chain mover chemistry, slot expert chemistry, 94 speed, 92 acceleration. Uh, again, not the fastest wide receiver in the game, but certainly up there. Very, very quick among the, the big receivers in the game, especially. He does have six foot three for height, 94 jumping. Very, very nice attributes there. 93 catching, 94 catching traffic, 95 spectacular catch, 90 route running. And uh, interestingly enough, he is the highest of all wide receivers in release. Now, if you guys don't know, release is really the thing that you want to look at. If somebody's pressing you with their cornerbacks, you can get and go deep on them with a Corey Davis type wide receiver, especially if they're in a cover two or something like that where they don't have help over the top particularly well. This is certainly a card where you can take advantage of that. So certainly a, a very valuable wide receiver and definitely one that deserves to be here in the top five. Up next, we have the only 99 overall player out of all the drafted players this year, and that is Miles Garrett, right end, who did go number one overall in the draft, by the way, so that makes a little bit sense that he's up here at 99. Now, he has a jump the snap ability chemistry, so if you user him, he's going to get a great jump pretty much every single time, along with edge setter chemistry, 86 speed 92 acceleration, which is the second best defensive end in the game right now. 95 power move is the best right end in the game in that attribute. 86 finesse move is great for a second pass rush move. Keep in mind, most of these guys in the game are only going to have one or the other. They're typically not going to be good at both. And this card is very good at both of those things. So that is definitely a very valuable asset. 92 play recognition, 92 awareness, 88 pursuit, 93 block shedding so he can get off and play the run as well 93 tackling and an 86 hit power once he gets to the quarterback so overall definitely one of the better defensive ends in the game probably one of the higher price guys as well right now but certainly a very valuable card and definitely one that deserves to be here at number three moving up to number two on the list we have Leonard Fournette halfback now, this card has the battle-ready ability chemistry, which, if you guys don't know, one of the best chemistries that you can have at the running back position this year. It allows you to either press A or X. If you're a, if you're on the Xbox, it's just A every single time you get into one of those tackle battles against a defender, or if you're on PlayStation, it's always X, so you can just mash that button anytime that you get into any sort of combat, and you're going to break off every single time, which is very, very valuable, of course. 93 speed, 93 acceleration, both good attributes, 96 carrying is second best of all halfbacks, 96 trucking as well, tied for the second best of all halfbacks. This card's interesting because it's almost like the opposite of Christian McCaffrey, which was earlier on this list, because he is a bad receiver out of the backfield with only 68 catching 51 catch in traffic and 57 spectacular catch but he does have those great rushing attributes like the 96 trucking 94 ball carrier vision 95 stiff arm he still has 93 agility and 88 elusiveness as well decent spin move at an 87 and 90 juke move so overall I think Leonard Fournette is the better of these players between he and Christian McCaffrey as far as Madden goes but uh, certainly I think his attributes overall are more usable to more teams just because 
you know, most of these guys are still going to be able to catch the ball decently out of the backfield. He's not going to be able to go down the field. But what's more valuable is that this guy is built to go up the middle and just grind the game away for your opponent. So that is definitely a very, very nice thing to have. Leonard Fournette, in my opinion, second best player of all the draft players. And that leaves us to number one. So last but not least, you guys probably expected this when you saw the list. Yes, John Ross, the number one player that came out in the draft as far as attributes go in Madden, in my personal opinion, deep threat chemistry, slot expert chemistry. This is the fastest card in Madden 17 Ultimate Team. It will be the fastest card in Madden 17 Ultimate Team all year. End of discussion. 99 speed, 99 acceleration. It cannot get faster than that this year. We know that the attributes will not be over 100 this year. So he is the fastest card in the game that we will have. Maybe there will be other players that tie him, but for right now, he is the fastest player in the game. Of course, we know speed is the most important attribute in the game, period. It is. It's just reality, folks. And he also has good attributes for catching the ball as well. 93 catching, 93 spec catch, 91 route running, 87 catch in traffic, not particularly great, but he does have some other nice attributes as well. 94 jumping does help him because he's only 5 foot 11. It's not he's not tiny, but he's certainly not a big wide receiver, so that 94 jumping is certainly valuable. 87 release not the best, but certainly still decent. 97 agility, also another attribute that he excels in. That is tied for the best among all wide receivers. So once he gets the ball in his hands, he's going to be able to make those moves. 93 elusiveness, 91 speed, 93 juking. Now it's almost hilarious because the bottom attributes here, trucking and stiff arm, 33 for both of those. That is a horrible attribute. So definitely do not try to truck with John Rouse, Ross and certainly don't try to do a stiff arm either. He's got other things that you can do and uh, make defenses pay. So with that said, guys, those are your top 10 players for the NFL draft here in Madden 17 Ultimate Team. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And let me know in the comments section below if I missed anybody. And if, if I did miss them, who would you bump off the list? So let me know in the comments section below, guys. Thanks again for all the support. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.